Are you familiar with the 1979 TV series, Knots Landing? This enduring drama series has left a lasting impact on many with its compelling storytelling and unforgettable characters. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this show, or there's a particular scene that has had a profound effect on you. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about Knott's Landing. This popular series was a spin-off of Dallas and revolved around the lives of the residents in a seemingly peaceful California cul-de-sac. It ran for an impressive 14 seasons, making it one of the longest-running primetime dramas in television history. Knott's Landing was known for its complex character relationships, intricate plots, and the way it tackled real-life issues, making it a timeless classic for TV enthusiasts. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and reminisce about the enduring impact of Knott's Landing on your life. Let's keep the conversation going. Knott's Landing, a popular TV series that aired from 1979 to 1993, emerged as a successful spin-off of the equally iconic series, Dallas. Set in the same fictional universe, Knott's Landing focused on the lives of the middle-class residents of a Southern California suburb. The show delved into their personal and professional struggles, exploring complex relationships, betrayals, and personal growth. Key characters included Curran and Sid Fairgate, Baleen, and Gary Ewan, and Abby Cunningham, each with their unique dynamics that captivated audiences. What set Knott's Landing apart was its distinct narrative style, combining domestic drama with elements of suspense and intrigue, creating a compelling, character-driven storyline. The series addressed social issues of its time, such as infidelity, alcoholism, and the evolving roles of women in society. As a result, Knott's Landing left a significant mark on popular culture, known for its character-driven storytelling and emotional depth. It ran for 14 seasons and continued to resonate with viewers long after its conclusion, earning a well-deserved place in the annals of television history. When the show debuted in 1979, Knott's Landing didn't start with high ratings. To boost its popularity, the producers tried bringing in a few guest stars from Dallas, but it didn't save the show from almost being canceled. Knott's Landing had a rocky start, and its survival was far from certain. This early struggle was a testament to the series' eventual rise to success. The show's journey from a struggling debut to becoming a significant part of television history is an interesting aspect of Knott's Landing's story. It's a reminder that sometimes, even when things seem bleak, persistence and creative decisions can turn the tide in the world of television. David Jacobs, the creator of the show, came up with the title based on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, south of Los Angeles, which had cul-de-sacs. The word landing was inspired by the many places in America called landing near bodies of water. As for knots, it was a playful addition, a nod to the complexities of married life. The title's origin adds a quirky touch to the show's overall narrative. These behind-the-scenes tidbits give us a glimpse into the challenges and creative decisions that shaped Knott's Landing. It's a testament to the resilience of the show and the creative thinking that went into its making. In the world of television, Knott's Landing, the 1979 TV series, holds a unique place. It's known for its engaging characters and dramatic storytelling. But did you know that some of its main actors had a prequel of sorts before the show even began? Joan Van Ark and Ted Shackelford, who played significant roles in Knott's Landing, were cast as a couple after working together in an episode of Wonder Woman. This interesting connection between them predates their roles in the iconic series. Knott's Landing, which ran for 14 seasons, faced challenges along the way. In its final season, both the network and the producers agreed to make it the last. Budget constraints played a role in this decision. To save money, fewer episodes were produced, and all actors had to be absent from at least some of them. Michelle Lee, however, offered to work for union scale pay, making her the only actress to appear in all 344 episodes. Moreover, Knott's Landing had ties to another popular series, Dallas. Ted Shackelford, Joan Van Ark, Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy, Charlene Tilton, Mary Crosby, and Eric Farlow played the same characters in both shows. 
This connection added depth to the series and its characters. These behind-the-scenes facts shed light on the dynamics that shaped Knott's Landing and the resilience it demonstrated over its 14-season run. It's a testament to the show's enduring popularity and the intriguing web of connections in the world of television. During the 13th season, Knott's Landing faced a significant challenge. Writer, producers Bernard Lechowick and Lynn Marie Latham departed to create Hopefront, while the show's creator, David Jacobs, had a health crisis and reduced his involvement in production. Jacobs realized the trouble the show was in when even the waitresses at his favorite diner stopped gossiping about Knott's Landing. To salvage the situation, production was halted on November 20, 1991, and head writer John Romano was replaced by Anne Marcus. This critical period in the show's history marked a turning point, demonstrating the behind-the-scenes struggles faced by Knott's Landing during its 13th season. Michelle Lee's casting as Karen Fairgate Mackenzie was a pivotal decision. Despite not guest starring on Dallas, she was the first and only choice of producers David Jacobs and Michael Filerman for the lead role. Lee had been looking for a television series to star in, hoping for a sitcom, but ended up on Knott's Landing. This choice had a lasting impact on the show's success and cemented her place in the series. Two cast members, Michelle Lee and Ted Shackelford, remained with the series from its first episode in 1979 until the final episode in 1993. Michelle Lee's record of appearing in all 344 episodes was a remarkable feat and a testament to her dedication to the show. Joan Van Ark also had a long-standing presence in the series, appearing in every season, but she was notably absent from the final episode of Knott's Landing. These actors' unwavering commitment to the show contributed to its longevity and success. These facts shed light on the challenges and key decisions that shaped Knott's Landing, making it a fascinating chapter in the history of television. 2. When the show debuted, episodes were largely self-contained rather than serialized. Beginning in Season 2, the show adopted a hybrid format as both episodic and serialized in comparison to its parent show Dallas, which becomes completely serialized by the end of the season. Knott's became completely serialized by season four. Knott's Landing, the 1979 TV series, had a unique approach to storytelling when it first aired. Unlike many other shows of its time, Knott's Landing initially presented self-contained episodes. This meant that each episode had its own distinct story and there was little connection between them. However, as the series progressed, it underwent a transformation. In season two, Knott's Landing started to adopt a hybrid format, blending episodic and serialized elements. This shift allowed the show to delve deeper into the lives of its characters and explore more complex storylines. It was a departure from its parent show, Dallas, which had already embraced full serialization by the end of its first season. By season four, Knott's Landing had fully embraced the serialized format creating interconnected story arcs that kept viewers engaged and invested in the lives of the characters. This change in storytelling style contributed to the show's enduring popularity and made it a significant part of television history. This shift from episodic to serialized storytelling was a crucial turning point in Knott's Landing's journey, and it set the stage for the show's continued success in the years to come. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Knott's Landing, we are reminded of the enduring power of storytelling and the deep emotional connections we forge with the characters who have graced our screens. This iconic TV series, which first graced our screens in 1979, has been more than just a show. It's been a companion on our journey through life. As you reflect on your own personal connection with Knott's Landing, perhaps you recall the suspense and drama that kept you on the edge of your seat, or the relatable and complex characters who felt like old friends. Maybe it's the way the show delved into the intricacies of human relationships, offering a mirror to our own experiences. The series has the unique ability to transport us to a world filled with love, betrayal, ambition, and secrets, mirroring the complexities of our own lives. We invite you to share your favorite memories, moments, or thoughts about Knott's Landing. Was it the unforgettable twists and turns, the unforgettable characters, or the way the show touched your heart? We'd love to hear your personal stories and reflections on this timeless classic. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and engage with the legacy of Knott's Landing.
Your connection to the series is a testament to its enduring impact on television history and the hearts of its viewers. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and stories as we celebrate the magic of storytelling that has bound us together. Warmest regards and thank you for your time and interest.